holding together a half lap joint on a couple of alder sticks. I'm going to lash them together. I'm going to use the long stick as an axle to put a chicken on a rotisserie spit. So Jason's just getting ready with some tarred twine to start lashing this all together. We're going to work on that and get her done. Jason's just wrapping this lap joint with tarred twine. Just to tighten it up. Well, Jason wrapped some thicker rope on there to stiffen that up. And it's one long pole now. Very long. Way longer than we need, I think. But we'll go set it up on the creek. That's perfect. So at this point, we finally got it going, but I didn't get video of the point where we were making the water wheel. We were just too busy working at it to stop and take video, what can I say? Jason, what do you have to say for yourself? I don't know yet. I didn't believe it could happen. <laughs> been curing for about, I don't know, four or five days, and it's not very thick, so that's about all it's going to need. And then I've pierced it and put a couple of stainless steel hooks through it, and just hung it up there. We're going to let it dry for a bit, and then we're going to create a tent using these giant skunk cabbage leaves over the tripod. And then we'll hit it with some smoke, and we'll smoke the bacon. So a pan of applewood chips is smoking. And the smoke is rising right up into the tunnel of skunk cabbage leaves. And then the bacon is tucked up inside. And it's nice and hot and smoky. This bacon is going to be for tomorrow's breakfast. It's prepared the day before and refrigerated overnight. It was awesome. So this river wheel, water wheel, has been running for 24 hours. Yesterday we built it and put it in place started getting ready to cook a chicken and it started raining so we put it off and today we were able to do our chicken so you can see the chicken on the rotisserie it's nothing fancy just the bird we're gonna baste it with some barbecue sauce homemade of course and it's just gonna cook it away for us I think it's going to work well. Thanks for watching. All right. I think we're about two and a half, three hours in. And this thing here has been turning for well over 24 hours. It's a little breezy, but our windbreaker is doing really well. Keeping the fire going. The chicken, we just tested the temperature, it was at 126 or so, maybe 130, super juicy inside. But look at that, it's just beautiful. Probably another hour to go yet. And we just had visitors, and Jason is so proud of that. So now you can't, if you think this is fake, you just ask the those guys, and they'll tell you it's not, it's not fake. Yeah, we got visitors over there fishing. This isn't CGI. And it's hot down there, that chicken will tell you. All right. It's white. Looks good. Looks like dough. 
Looks like it's gonna be a good bread. <laughs> okay, put the lid back on. Let's bake it. Got the coals on the lid, and there's eight or nine underneath. Should get good and hot quickly. Hey, you'll have to forgive the shadows, but the charcoals are pretty much gone, and the bread's out of the oven. That's a 12 inch frying pan, I believe, so nice size bread. Looks great. We're going to be eating good tonight. What a meal. The bread tastes great. It's got a really crispy bottom. But it's nice and chewy and crusty on the outside. I, of course, had it with some butter. Here's my empty plate. We finished dinner. It was awesome. Along with the bread, we had the barbecued chicken done on the spit. Just fantastic. Heated up some homemade barbecue sauce to go with that chicken. It was also what we basted the chicken with. Of course, just a pot of boiled potatoes. Finish that off with some sour cream, black pepper. It was fantastic. What a meal. Thank you guys. You're welcome. Thanks, Darla. <laughs> for tending the chicken all day. so delicious.